So I thought I would finally go ahead and start on my next journal. The journal cover, I want it to be like a faux leather. And you guys know that there are techniques for momagami. That is uh, spelled M-O-M-I-G-A-N-I. And I watched some videos. I had done some where you just take hand lotion, but I did not like the way that looked. So what I did is do a little bit more research and the true Japanese way of doing it is using a type of flower that's called this konjac. Another name for it is called uh, K O N N Y A K A. It's the same thing. I ordered this off of Amazon, so I thought I would try it. Now, what you need is a proportion of the video I watched, she said a half a cup to a quarter teaspoon. But I want to do a lot of papers. I figure if I'm going to do this big of a mess, I was going to do quite a few papers. So I've got a lot of an assortment of papers. I have tracing paper. I have deli paper. I even have some of my uh, Florentine papers. But the main thing is paper bags, the brown paper bags, and I have cut them down. So to start to mix, to mix this stuff, I am taking one cup, because I'm doubling what the lady said. You take one cup, and then all you need... I don't know what, what measuring that is, but here's one cup of water and I'm taking one half teaspoon of the powder. And what she said is you just sprinkle it over the top because you want that to mix well. And so I'm sprinkling it and then I'm just going to stir it. And you have to stir it for about a half an hour, which is a really long time. But what I'm going to do is once I add this to the water, I'm just going to stop the camera, stir it, and put on a YouTube video. I hope you guys are able to hear this. I hope my microphone is good enough to where you can't hear the background no noise. I have got some major restorations going on here at my house. I had a small leak in my laundry room, which... I found it by my housekeepers saying there is water in my son's bathroom. And his bathroom is between the laundry room and a hall closet. So, yeah, I've got major, major repairs going on here. So, I think this is about done. I see it's kind of clumped up on the side, but if I mix it for a while, I think we'll be okay. We'll see. So anyway, I'm going to put the video on hold and I'm going to mix, mix this and I'll be back in a half an hour. So now that I had stirred it for about a half an hour. Then 
the gal that I watched, she let it sit for a couple of more hours. And I hope you can see, but this is about the viscosity that she had. And then all she did was take a brush and let me grab a baby wipe because I do want to set this brush on a baby wipe. And I want to keep my baby wipes close to me too so I can grab one if I need. And I'm going to start out with the paper bag. What she did is she just took a brush and started brushing the, the paste over it. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, it is still extremely hot here in Arizona. I think today's high was supposed to be one 15. I did venture out to the grocery store, Ugh. but what you do is you immediately come home and you take a shower because you're so hot. Now this seems to be really soaking this up, which is great. And I want to make sure that I've got some everywhere. Now she was using thinner paper than this paper here that I have. Let me just make sure I've got some over here. She was using all these different Japanese papers. And I do, I think I did show you that I have some of those types of papers over here to my left that I figured I was going to try to use. But this is really soaking up in this paper bag. So I might not have as much as I thought I was going to have. Oh, yeah, like I said, I had tried the lotion trick, and to me, the paper felt greasy. I didn't like that. So I hope this feels a little bit better. And then once she put it on, she let it dry just a little bit but this is really soaking it up here and I may have to also come in and do the other side if I don't see that it's gone through to the opposite side but I think I got it all there all over it and I haven't inked up my paper yet I was going to wait until after I crinkled it up now you can see it has not absorbed onto that side so I'm gonna flip it over because I want some of this over here too it's a really, really thick paper. And all I have down is just some contact paper to protect my desk. It's really going on very smoothly. So yeah, it's brutally hot here and it still will be for until October. I think I may have told you, so I'm in the process of planning another trip. I figure I'm retired 
And while I'm still very, very healthy, I better get in as much traveling as I can. So I have another trip coming up in September and October. I'm going back to Italy. It's actually one of my favorite countries, but I'm also going to France and Spain. And this will be the first time I've been to Spain. And I'm going with a friend. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants it known that she's going, but she's got an Etsy store. And um, we're renting a car and we're going to drive because we want to hit all the flea markets and the, oh, what's it called? Brocades, brocats, whatever the French term is for, uh, you know, flea markets. We want to go to to the antique stores. And actually, I've already made an appointment. The antique store that I went to when I went, well, the first time I met Rachel in Italy, she had taken us to an antique store. And when I was there, I saved the business cards of the people whose shops we visited. And the one gal does speak English. And so I emailed her and told her that I was coming back to Italy and could I make an appointment to come to her shop. And of course she was, you know, gracious and said, absolutely. So I'm excited about that. I had found some really good stuff there. Mostly, mostly textile stuff. Boy, this just sucks this up right through. I don't know how much I need to put on before I start crimp, crimpling it, but we're going to say that's, that's going to be good. It is on both sides. And what the gal did is she set it off to the side and let it dry just a little bit. And then she started the crimpling, the, uh, the wadding it up and getting those creases in it. And it feels like it's gonna be okay. It feels like it's good. Oh, I love that. Already it looks kind of leathery, doesn't it? And it feels pretty sturdy. It does not feel like it's going to tear. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that kind of look leathery already? Except for here. I think that's where the join is. Yeah. What she did is she crumpled it up and then she left it to dry. Now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that this area here, it's, it's where the paper has doubled up. I'm going to add a little bit more of that stuff. And I'm going to do the other side too. Now, who knows? I uh, I might not. Uh, I might be cutting this down, but it doesn't feel greasy at all. I don't feel any residue on my fingers. Oh my gosh! I am loving this. And you know what? Did you see that container I have? I mean, that is going to take me for forever to use all that. Yeah. I'm going to just crumple that up and leave it over to the side. 
let's do a different paper. I'll do that. Um, let me just set that like that. I will. I will um, do that other piece of uh, newsprint at another time. But let's just do some of this Florentine paper. See what it, how it looks. see if it's that went on really quick I am going to do the other side you can't hardly see where it's soaked in but it seemed like it's soaking in really well And as I lift it up here, I don't want to tear that corner. Yeah. Isn't that pretty paper? Those are hummingbirds. And that was my mother's all time favorite bird. So what I'm going to do is before I start crimpling it, I'm going to set this over to the side and I'm going to just grab another piece of paper. Let's try this deli paper. And actually, it may just soak some up from the table. I didn't know, you know, I just thought I would experiment and do a bunch of different papers. Don't we love making messes and doing this kind of stuff? Oh, yeah, that's 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 not taking much at all. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, let me come over here and just very gently. This seems like a little bit more fragile paper and just crumple it up. And what happens is with this paper, it then looks like fabric when you're done and it dries. Yeah, I'm gonna be very, very gentle with this. Yeah, I love those wrinkles in there. Okay, we're going to just do it again. And I'm going to just set that over to the side and let's just do this piece. And I do have on my dining room table a piece of plastic tablecloth that I'm going to lay these papers on and let them dry. And this one, because it's white, I will definitely, I will be adding some coffee to it or some kind of a acrylic paint. I don't see as many wrinkles in that, so I'm gonna just wad that up. I'm gonna come back over here to this one. And just look at it. Oh, it just feels fantastic. And because it is so dry here in Arizona, it's not taking this long to dry at all. I already feel it's kind of dry. Okay, let's see what this one looks like now. You have to be gentle, especially with this one in which I wadded it up into a big old ball. 
I love how my hands do not feel sticky at all. Yes, isn't that pretty? Wow. So I'm going to continue on with different papers. I'm going to unfold these and go lay them on that dining room table. So now I thought I would just try some kind of antique or vintage paper from Amazon. It's just regular paper, but it looks old. And I thought, let's do a little bit of it. Let's see how that looks. I think it will come out well. I just can't believe how my hands don't feel dirty at all or sticky or gummy or anything. I'm just amazed. Oh, let's see here. So let me pick this up and put it off to the side. And then bring this one in. Yeah, to me, these will look leathery. should have maybe grabbed a couple of more pieces because these would definitely be good on the inside of the journal. I haven't told you yet what the journal design is going to be. I'm still waiting for Medieval Mirage to finish the kit and I mean, it's absolutely fine because I have been busy stitching, slow stitching. You guys have seen some of my videos of that. It's been nice and relaxing, but boy, was I starting to itch to uh, get back to paper crafting. That feels pretty good there. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. I just can't believe how easily it crinkles up. Let me throw that back in there. All right, let's see what this looks like as we open it up. A little bit of a tear there. It's maybe not quite, oh yeah, that's tearing. I got to be careful with this. It's definitely, of course, not as strong as the paper bag paper. Okay, although it will look like a piece of torn leather, I can darken that up, that edge, with some vintage photo. And if you guys live in a moisture climate, it probably won't dry as fast as mine is. This one did better. Just gonna fold it up just a little bit more, not quite as tight. And I think what I'm going to do with this one, let's just add another layer. Let's just add a little bit more. 
before we crinkle it back up. See if that makes a difference. What I'm going to have to do is remember that, that I've done that. You guys will have to give this a try. This is really fun. I'm so glad I bought that stuff. Like I said, when I did the lotion, the paper felt greasy and I was afraid it was going to make my journal tags that I used it for greasy. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to set this. Well, I'm going to crumple this up and I'm going to go lay this piece over on the table. Oh, you guys, you want to know a good series to watch? Your Honor. Oh, my gosh. It's on Netflix. And there is some bad language in it. So, you know, you can't let your kids watch it. Um, and it's the actor that was in Breaking Bad is in it. Now, I never watched that series. It was just like, eh. you know, I, I know a lot of people did and they liked it. I didn't, I, I started to watch it and I didn't care for it. Um, but this, Your Honor, oh, my son and I are really enjoying it. And I talked to my daughter who watched it and she said the ending is perfect. She said they couldn't have ended it better. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, there's like a cliffhanger after every episode. This brush is just a, a simple brush that I got at Michael's. It's nothing fancy. Your paper will shrink up. So make sure you take that into account when you um, measure your paper, you know, because if you measure it for a journal cover and then you do this, it's going to be too small. So. I'm going to set this over to the side to dry. This is some paper that I bought in, I believe I bought it in San Francisco. It was a huge sheet. I've cut it down. I don't use it very often. Um, not because I don't love it. I absolutely love it. But, you know, you you put things in a drawer and you kind of forget about them. So as I was digging, I've got a drawer that says textured paper and this was down underneath in the bottom. I love the gold flaking in it. Oh gosh, is that not just beautiful marbled looking paper? Oh, stunning. All right, let's crinkle you up, see what it looks like. Here's a piece of paper. I bought this in uh, London. Ooh, how that's coming out. It's like a mulberry paper. Look at that leaf. Oh. Boy, that is soaking up like crazy, guys. Okay, let's flip this over.
Now, this I have to be a little bit careful. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of fragile. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty wet. I did wet, wet that up. I'm going to leave that sit there for a minute, and I'm going to go lay this down. All right, let's see what this is like. It seems pretty fragile. I got five minutes, so I got to leave to go pick my son up. Undone nicely. Crinkle it up one more little time, and then I'm going to grab another one. Again, this is some more of that, like it's kind of a rice paper. This will be it. We're just going to let that sit there for a minute. And I'm going to undo this. Yeah, I can't remember what shop I was in. It was actually, oh yeah, now I remember. It was in a little jewelry shop and they had some papers. And I thought those are cool papers, so I picked up a few. I don't know what it's gonna be turn out to be like when I'm when it's dry, but I'm gonna go lay it down to dry. Oop, two more minutes. Let me pick this up. I don't wanna waste any of this stuff. Oh, even though it was, I had so much of it. Do you know how you are when you mix something? It took a long time to, uh, to stir it. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh yeah. A little bit of my green is coming off. If you wind it up too tight in a ball, it's hard to undo. It's hard to know where to undo it. Uh, okay, guys. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off. I got to go pick up my son. And in the next part of the video, I'll show you what these look like all dried out. So this is what the papers look like once they're dried out. They're very, very pliable. You can see. This is the mulberry paper. This is the one that had the leaves. These are just a couple of plain ones. Uh, just plain paper. I'm not sure if I will ever use those. Here's some of the ones that I got from Amazon. And you can just tell they really do um, crinkle up nice and feel quite nice. I have several of those kinds. And then I did do off camera a couple of pages. This is rag paper. It's Italian paper. And I like how that came out. And then this paper I also like. This was a big sheet of paper. And I had one time tried to put it in a journal, but it was just huge. But once I did the... Um, mamagami on it it shrinks it down enough to where i think it'll go into a journal nicely here's some more of the florentine paper that i did 
And then this is the ones that I want to have them look very leathered so that um, when I make the journal cover, and again, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to put on the journal on the front because again, I'm sorry to be elusive, but it's kind of a secret because I'm waiting for a special kit. But there's going to be something large put here. And so to make this look more leathery, I am going to take some Ground Espresso uh, ink pad and I'm just going to run it over the top. And you can see that that adds a little bit of a darker color over it and I think more of a leathered look you see how that turns out I like that so I'm going to do this one too I I think I tried the vintage photo but it was just too light so I'm just taking the ground espresso ink pad and running it over the top. Oh, that one's a big piece. That's hold it over. Let's do this here. So this is now Sunday and I just woke up from a nap. It was a great nap. And uh, you can still hear the demo, the restoration true crew is going to be back tomorrow. And hopefully these loud fans will be turned off. Let me try again the vintage photo on this one. This is a little bit lighter paper. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can. So I'm going to do the vintage photo on this one. I will probably have to re-ink this pad once I'm done. Because it's really taking a good amount of that ink there but you see how beautiful that looks now how leathery that looks yeah that looks really good there and I think what I did on this paper where'd my lid go yeah we put the lid here on this one this is just some of the packaging paper that came with uh, an Amazon package so I did the vintage photo for that so anyway that's my video today making leather like paper with this corn jack flower I did go ahead and put a label maker over the top so I could remember the recipe. A half a cup of water to a quarter teaspoon of powder. Stir for a half an hour. Then let it sit for two to three hours. And then brush it on your paper. But I think these came out quite nice. And <laughs> look at, I have more than I will probably ever use. So... Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Monday, and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks, and bye-bye.